our trailer and there's our truck and there's sand and we're stuck. guys how's it going so we have ditched out on the Grand Canyon have you looked out the window yet yeah. I'm pretty sure that it's like snowing and cloudy and cold at the Grand Canyon it's supposed so. to be 45 with frozen mix we left a day early actually we're super happy that we did because it's beautiful here our campground is awesome we're at the uh, Lone Rock beach campground so this is our spot for the next couple days it's really cool i would highly recommend it it's 14 bucks a night to be here uh, if you don't want to be right down on the beach like next to the water uh, you can go up into these hills across the road and there's free camping over there go oh <laughs> I got stuck coming in here. This is pretty entertaining. You should watch this. So we've arrived at Lake Powell. Um, and it's it's a sandy beach where we're camping. Let's see, where we're camping. Um, kids and I made it in just fine. But if you notice, there's our trailer and there's our truck sand and we're stuck <laughs> so we are maybe getting some help I don't know hopefully we can get out of here you can see our rig and our truck is stuck but this lovely nice gentleman in the solitude over here is the only other person with a big dually so we're gonna ask him for some help and see if we can get out of this. Oops. Dodge duly number one. No line. Dodge duly number two. Our rig. Nope. Nope. That didn't work. So we dug out with the shovel. So far we've had a great day just kind of hanging at the beach. We're planning on heading over to Horseshoe Bend here in like an hour or so. Yeah, I think so. Alex is doing some really cool paintings. You want to show everyone what you're doing? The only concern that we have is, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but there's kind of some dark clouds building on the horizon. So. We might have some slightly inclement weather. On the other note, this place that we are at right now, it's getting busy. It's Friday afternoon and there are a ton of people rolling in. So we're actually really happy that we showed up here yesterday. I think that if you want a decent spot, it's definitely a good idea to get here on a weekday. We kind of like having a few people around because it gives Hartley some friends. We've been boondocking a fair amount kind of out in the woods and so it's awesome having some kids for him to play with. It just got super windy here. Our back patio is a little bit in the shade of the wind, but look at all the sand getting blown. It's uh, I kinda knew that was gonna happen. 
yeah, storm's definitely coming in. So that's definitely one thing about this place. If you are here on days when it's windy, uh, it's just like don't go outside because the sand gets blown around so easily. It's like you're just getting sandblasted. So it definitely got windy. We're, that thing's showing 27 miles an hour wind. That's pretty decent. So the boys have moved on to drawing inside. That's some pretty cool drawings. And uh, the good old cars. So that's the plan this evening. We're just going to hang in here and uh, watch cars. And clean. Clean. I'm going to do some work. If you guys are lucky, you might get a RV tour sometime coming up soon. Let us know if you actually want to see one because we'll, we'll work on putting it together. But we might have to go like ban these two for like days so that we can actually make it clean enough in here. Anyways, we'll talk to you soon. So Harley has made friends with our neighbors over here and they're all going fishing and the Catch something. Fishing time! Are you excited? Wilson, how do you like your first bite of s'mores? Is that first bite? What? Yeah. So if you're all wondering what bedtime routine is like around here, uh, that one. Typical crazy, crazy, crazy before bed. Now, oh my goodness! <laughs> Does that bedtime story routine ring a bell with anyone? Where your little brother's always in the way? Anyways, time to go put the kids to bed. We'll talk to you tomorrow. See you guys. So we've been working on a new bedtime routine with Hartley, and we told him to go up and. Go, he has to go sit in bed and relax on his own before Alex goes up and reads him a story. Well, he found... He found my watercolors that were next to bed because a lot of times after he goes to bed, I sit around and either read or do something productive, attempt to do something productive without falling asleep myself. Anyways, myself. it's super cute. Can I see what you're working on, bud? Whoa, those are really pretty. There you go. My painting. You're painting? Uh, what did that was? Let's see the ones that you've done. It's really pretty, Hartley. There you go. I may need a new watercolor sketchbook. Hartley, that's really beautiful. <laughs> You're doing a great job.
Okay, bud. We're gonna have to turn some of these lights off. Hey, Hartley. You need your water to have a teeny tiny straw. Got it. Hartley, can you look at me? What What did you have for breakfast this morning? A cake. A cake? <laughs> what kind of cake? A dog red date. I was cleaning out the fridge and that was Colson's birthday cake and uh, the plate was still on the counter and we went back there and snuck a piece of cake and he was the back of the it. Surprisingly enough, he didn't actually eat the entire piece. He, I saw, I was on the phone and I saw him put a piece of cake back up on the plate and I was just like, ugh. Oh. That's where he's been. Yup, because he's been quiet for the last like five minutes. We thought he was using the bathroom back there. That was not the case, so. Welcome to Sugar High Mornings, yay. Oh, Are you gonna be hyper pants today? Why yeah. Why mine? Uh -huh. Ah. I, ah. Boop. Oh no, we're missing a piece. Hartley's back here making friends. Hey buddy, do you wanna come back and help dad? Come bud, we're doing some home improvement projects. I need your help. So this guy, we're going to take off of this bracket, um, I'm going to flip this up so that I don't have a ton of leverage coming out, because I have a feeling once I undo these, it's going to go blow. Okay, Hartley, Dad needs this. I'm going to hand you some screws once I take them out, okay? Okay, yeah, now you can lower it. Oh, Hartley's gonna get caught. Yeah, hang on. Hartley. Don't climb in your brother's bed with shoes on. Well, there you have it. Uh, super easy. Thank you. Well, there's so much sand here. So, so much sand. So, now the only issue that we have is, as you can see, the bench is just out there on a table. But this table with one bench, we have a pathway right here. We can always throw a camp chair right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely really liking this setup. Uh, we just have to figure out how to get the bench to stay up there without it coming down on top of us. Okay, so here's the game plan. This guy, we're obviously gonna fold it flat. We're just gonna go up in this upper bunk. So that's the game plan. Bye, Hartley. We're losing a child. How you doing there? So Alex lifted that all up on her own and I just didn't video it, so I'm just kidding. I needed two hands, so you didn't get to see that going up. Just working on my uh... Getting your workout? Yep. Okay, so I gotta pop this guy. Okay. Oh, no! Lost a screw. Into the sand it goes. Yep. It's still visible. Okay, uh, we'll show you the end result, bye. Okay, so here's kind of the end result from the outside of the trailer. This is down, it has a border. This is gonna Whoa. go right there. While well, the project Organize the Toys is almost complete. The project, get rid of the bench here. Boom, done, it's up there. We now have a pathway. I have a spot where I can sit and do some work and then we have that back there. So, boom, perfect, love it.